All right. So let's see what's going on in the world. We could attack um, the rebellion against the English. To press a few claims. Of a vassal or two. I could only really press this claim down here. And the French would join us. How is your war going? 35% in your favor so far. So we could actually... Wait. Ah, it's about this piece up there. And this guy has a claim over there for some reason. So we could take a piece out of... Uh, Or have a tributary Scotland. What do you belong to anyway? Norway. Okay. So how are we? We are pretty strong. So shouldn't we shouldn't we create ourselves a little tributary up there? Tributary state, just generally. So we would just get a bunch more income and a little bit more troops. How much does it cost us to declare this war? Nothing. Honestly, let's do it. Let us uh, set our position in the world in stone. How are our vassals? Not happy. Okay. We'll just do it with our own troops then. We don't need our vassals for this. See, this is the absolute power of... Building a lot of castles that you hold personally in one county. I only have three castles here. There's two more slots that might come available as time moves on. 5,000 troops just from one thing. So even if I lose all these counties for whatever reason at some point, I'm still in a pretty good shape. Pretty good shape indeed. So let's check through this stuff. You are good at what? These two. So... Let's go with the next best thing, which is this. Still need a coronation ceremony, but, well, we have to wait anyway. Let's check our factions. Just this dear bishop. Up we go. Now let's have the organizer lead first, so we move a bit quicker. Oh, what do you think of that? Stumbled upon the Scottish army. Oh, look, they even bring reinforcements there. Interesting. Didn't help them, though, sadly. The Welsh taking out the Scottish. Funny times we live in. We'll follow this army around a little bit more. Fight them again. And then we're going to... Once they're around 2,000 or something. Then we go take out... 
their capital. Oh, we're catching one of their reinforcement armies. Too bad for them. They're moving somewhere down here once they're locked in. Well... Ah, nah. Okay. Already locked in. Too bad. Oh, we arrived before him. What a shame for him. Oh, what? No! My cat has become a true treasure here in the hills, acting as an anchoring kindness to an injured soldier. Of course I was annoyed when I first found that it had gone to sleep in one of my saddlebags and followed me into battle, but now I'm really coming around to... Whack! An arrow? No, a kitty! Okay, let's, let's uh, duel this man over the death of our kitten. Oh, right. So either we kill him... Or we imprison him. I think we prefer this man dead attacking an innocent kitty. I didn't know that was possible. That is so cool. Alright, let's personally lead the siege here. Direct our war efforts. They're probably going to pop up somewhere here at some point. There they come. Let them. So we can have another alliance with the Duchy of Anjou. Nope, you don't want to? Okay, fine. But we have a strong vassal. In need of a position. Can't give him. Weird. Uh, strange. Don't we have an advisor slot? Oh, you might have to be an empire or just larger. Get advisor slots. So this is not a threat to us all that much because our sieging is going to go much quicker than theirs. They are welcome to do their thing there. Let's check our income right now. Get 245. Collect taxes at home. Make a bit more money here. So we get 257 a year. Our retinue upkeep right now is pretty high. We're actually losing a bit of money. Due to having all our troops deployed and the retinue is in need of replenishment. So let's beat them a few more times and that should be it. Organize and charge. We on the flank. Just so we move quickly. I just clicked that away because it was some message about Islamic leaders being decadent and stuff like that. Not really all that interesting. Ah, grand. Okay, I think 
We'll go for flanker because we put him on the flank currently. But then again, rough terrain. Ah, there's not many forests and hills here, is there? A lot of plains, 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 plains. That will be a flanker. And be very good with flanking. He only leads sieges, so that's fine. His place is at the flank. So let's take this piece here. Real quick. We'll suffer through the attrition, it's fine. I mean, fine, right? As fine as it can be. It'll be over before something really bad happens. There we go. What do we get? Some prestige and a tributary. We have to walk our troops back home. And that is our organizer organizing the retreat, or rather the triumphant return home. How much money do we earn now? Well, it's not it's not a lot that we get from from them. Does it have an effect on us here? Eh. A little bit, I think. We'll have to check if we can find the modifier. All right, we're not at peace because we have. This war is still going on. We probably should help with a little bit. Alright, we'll do our... Our usual thing. Alright, we can't land here anymore because this is foreign territory now, England. Oh yeah. Let's lose familial Kinslayer, that is perfect. So we will lose some gold. And some piety. But that's absolutely worthwhile. That is not a good trait to have, people hate you so much for it. And they are quite right to do so. What are you even fighting over? Claim on France, so our alliance might break down after they lose. Or we can just always create a new alliance, I suppose. So even send some good leaders here. Good commanders for you to work with. It's not gonna help you because there's this big blob. Walking towards you. Where are all your... How do you have only this view? Lot. Facing quite a lot more. I think we might need to help them a little bit more. So let's send our levies. Our vassals. I don't want to send everyone because it's a, it's kind of costly. Hmm. 
what to do. Not going to help him. 8,000. A whole lot. How do they even have so many? Yeah, okay, let's help him. Let us help. And we'll raise all our fleet levies. Oh, no, no, no. Not our own. That was the wrong button. These we raise. Everyone get here with your troops. A little bit counterintuitive to do it like that, but it'll all make sense. You'll see. Everyone going down there. And then we'll take care of this little rebellion. In a swift and concise manner. Link up with our already existing brave and valiant troops. We will lead the flank and our ships will be set down because we have this we only need to move our troops over here once we're done to stand them down without losing anything okay we were overpowered somehow in the middle of an army but our court chaplain and our guards helped us. Lovely stuff. Not sure how that happened, but here we go. Let's take care of this little annoyance there. Roth is kind and neat uh, for someone like this, so we shall go in charge. For Brithoniaid, I'm not sure who that is, but for them, definitely. Alright, so now we're wrathful, making us even more fierce and powerful. Alright, there we go. There is the enemy commander. We will duel him. Which apparently did nothing. That's weird. Alright. So where's your capital, French Revolt? Down there. Let us help him reclaim his lands first. He would make a good commander. Fine. Look at us. Uh, right, I wanted to check. Train troops. Castle. Ah, yeah. Right at the bottom there. Second from the bottom. There's uh, effect of controlled modifiers from tributary plus 7%. So... Our tributaries are basically contributing to our own holdings as well. Do they contribute? 
Yeah, they contribute everywhere. So they send 7% of their troops improving our own power. And they are longer with us because they can't just break free. We get money. We have to help them in defenses, so we need to be careful because also they can call each other into a war. Ooh, look at that. Ireland is free. Hey, Ireland. Oh. That is fantastic. England is getting weaker and weaker as time goes on. Which is good news for us because we are in a prime position to snatch up a bunch of stuff out here. We want our nephew to be a commander. Yeah, okay. Fine, if people just keep recommending us commanders, that's not bad. Gives us a little bit of positive opinion. Alright. Maneuver a little bit around. Go get him. Retake this quickly before a garrison builds. Why did I walk around? Because I didn't want to cross a river when fighting them. Let's check factions in our own realm. All good still. And this way we can immediately retake this. Exactly know why I end up holding these. I don't really want to hold these. That's okay. I also don't really know if... Uh, if what I'm doing is even necessary anymore. I don't know... Okay, let's see. How can we see our siege bonus potentially playing in here? We have four heavy cavalry, that's not a lot. Oh no, we're no longer Rustful. Shame. But it was fun while it lasted, really. So, I don't actually know if it is still true that you have to have the person you want their benefits of to be the center leader, or if it's just fine to have them on either slot here. Really don't know. But let's take out his capital. France? Where are your armies? Where are they? Maybe he hasn't raised them back up. Ah, very good. We become a skilled tactician, giving us another plus three marshal and, more importantly, oh no, health we already had. That's nice, but definitely good. What is this? Let's just stand them down. Probably forgot them in the initial drive to go out here. Help our ally. Or just the master of the hunt. B. Yeah, why not our spy master? Always good to have a spy master like as well. And our commander can be our core tutor as well. Because war. Let's check the world if there is anyone good. Load our top filter. Flanker. Organizer flanker. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 64, 24. Let's get this, man.
All right, what we will do now is a little experiment. We have us as a siege leader. And we put this guy over here as another siege leader. See if this looks like it does anything. So we have two siege leaders in charge, but I don't think they, you know, work in tandem or anything. No, you don't get my commander. It's not commander. I think we should marry our commanders, people. Why can't I give you... A slot on a council. I don't understand that one. Oh, now I can. Powerful vassal. Very good. good. Oh, we can't change the law right now. Our son is incapable. Well, that's unfortunate. The unincapable again? Okay, we need to go take care of this silliness up there. Yeah, I think you have to have the, the guy you really want to feel in charge. Few prisoners. Now let's go retake this again. We'll batter it down. Batter this one down as well. And we take these two. Okay, fine. You take it then. We'll go back him somewhere up here. Bring all the way up to Flanders. That. Organize in here. Raise a few more troops. We'll immediately take care of that. Can't raise troops in his capital because we took it out. Flemish troops, eh? I don't think they're part of this war. See, who are you at war with? Oh no. You are part of this. Now oh, you have to die for it. Oh, that's a... It's a fairly large army. Where did that come from? That's very interesting. What's going on here? Not his army. It's his army. Wow, how do you have so many troops? You're just a duke? How, how is that happening? Let's press it, let's press him. Don't even give him a moment of respite. Catch these guys too. Back to sieging warfare it is. I mean they have quite a lot of territory. But I still don't understand how you get this many troops from this. A little bit crazy.
doesn't even do our cool tactic and stuff. So what we're gonna do, uh, one of the future leaders will have to have uh, rulership or business or something, which sometimes allows you to create a new slot here. So we can increase our power even further. We could, of course, build just another castle here, or uh, here, rather, or there. Could do all that, but I like to concentrate in one amazingly strong thing here. So we have a bastard child to give away. Oh. Our daughter is not married? Why? Why is our daughter not married? Let's see. Want to marry our daughter? Nope. Hey, Norway! How's it coming here? No? A troll, maybe? Ah, the age difference doesn't work. Ah, very good. And I click it away because I wanted to click away the thing behind the thing. We'll have to check what happened to her husband. Never had a husband. Girl! Ah, proper alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. Not too shabby. I dare say. Let's check out what we can build up here a little bit. Mainly looking to increase our castle fortifications to make ourselves a little less attractive for looting and pillaging and stuff. So how is England faring? Not too, not too great. So we're just basically trying to bail out France out of their little rebellion there. But I think we're doing a good job. And we'll have that finished up soon.